weekend is the unofficial start of summer, of yes. course, and it's also a time when a lot of people start home projects. And there are a lot of things you can put on that honeydew list this summer <laughs> that won't necessarily break the bank. And yeah. we got proof. We have some examples of it today. Uh, joining us with four projects that you can do on the cheap. We have uh, Derek Christian, who's owner of Handyman Connection in Blue Ash, and uh, Dino Pensiri, who is a, a craftsman there, uh, to give us some ideas. Great. Thank you. Us. So we're going to start with the bathroom, right, yeah. Derek? Yeah, bathroom okay. is one of the major areas in the house. and um, They always say you get the most value out of fixing up the bathroom, right? Exactly, and you've got okay. a couple options. The vanity is normally the big item and the easy one to do for about $400. You've got a choice. You can either change out the top on here or you can change out the whole thing. Okay. Now, Dino's got a great tip. When you're just trying to change out the top, the trick is not to damage the vanity. So what he does is he puts a wire in here right where the top meets the vanity and pulls it along to saw it out. And that way you can replace it, not using a crowbar or anything wow, that's going to tear really? things up. Correct. Exactly. So typically they're silicone down uh, if it's natural stone. If not, it's liquid nailed down. And mm -hmm. for the silicone, you'd use the wire and you know, get your hand in there and saw it back and forth. And uh, you know, with the liquid nail, you'd use a saw blade or something thin so you don't damage the, uh, the stone. Now nice. for this faucet and this uh, drain, it's all plastic. There's, there's there's, there, you know, there's no metal parts, no wrenches needed. You just hold your hand inside here and twist this piece on, and it's all just hand tight. You know, they're they're modern now, so you don't need all those tools. It's real simple. That install. is, that's yes. fantastic. Okay, about how much? About four hundred to four hundred and eighty dollars depends on how nice a top you're putting in, how right. nice a vanity. Okay. This setup's actually only about two hundred and fifty. Yeah. And that can this unit is one eighty nine ninety nine, oh, and that's uh, great. the faucet was ninety. All right. Now you can also do just wallpaper on one wall to change the look. Do of an room, accent right? wall. Yep. Do an accent wall. You can do a faux finish, and it's just as simple as you know spreading the glue on correctly, and making sure you make. Oh, all I your like cuts that because right. it doesn't even just, look like wallpaper. Right. This is a this is a paint it yourself, so you can choose the color if you don't already have the pattern the way that it is. Uh, one thing you just need to pay attention to is there is a pattern repeat with every wallpaper that's textured and you need to roll it out and make sure the repeats meet. So, oh, okay. so you don't see this. And it includes it includes about putting the uh, glue on the wall before the you glue. You're going to want to just buy a roller that's made for adhesive. It's not your typical paint roller. It's uh, it's actually like a almost like a really shortened toothbrush bristle okay. on a roller, and it's very simple. And the most okay. important thing on wallpaper is actually your prep on the wall. You need to paint it and or with a special primer ahead yeah. of time. Bare yes. wallpaper and drywall mud it's not going to adhere properly. It'll look great, Correct. but in a few months it's going to start peeling. Ah, okay. So right. the prep work of that pre-paint is really important. Very good. Oh, okay. Now this Lighting. is my favorite. Yeah. Uh, yeah, I like this a lot. So this right here is a uh, DIY recessed can lighting. This just came out. They sell this at, uh, at Home Depot. And this is just this simple. Wow. Uh, you, you now you have to drill the hole first though, Correct. right? Correct. You, you, uh, inside the box are specifications for the diameter of the hole and you just cut it out and then you flip over the back here. This is what's really neat about this. Uh, no electrician needed. This has yeah. a, uh, its own junction box built onto the back of this yeah. and then the connections are just as simple as done. Wow, oh. that's amazing. Now this has to be put inside here. You flip this shut, screw it together, but you're done. And this is pretty secure. These are these are pretty pretty hard to. Flip. Yeah. How, so how much how much is this? Those lights are only about twenty to thirty dollars, depending on how big and how powerful they are. Nineteen ninety nine for the unit. Yep. That's so you would just replace an existing light with this, basically, right? Correct. Yep. Yeah, if okay. you've got an older cam light that you don't like, or you've got uh, the old kitchen lights, the dome lights that people don't want, this is a really easy way to change it out and get a more modern okay. look very or quickly. You can okay. add a new one by looping it into an existing light. I'm system. so sorry we have to cut this short, but we're just told we have to toss to a CBS News special report on North Korea, so we'll go.